birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. What's up, Rich Squad? We're in for people to jo join the live stream on a Sunday, January the 7th. It's my birthday, of course. Getting older by the hour. Turkey Pizza 10,000. What's up, man? Welcome to the live stream. Guys, make sure you read the title of the live stream, okay? The title says it's my birthday, okay? It's the big day, my B day. Happy transfer birthday. Thank you very much. What's up, Bruno Singer, LC Ortega, MW Trolley? Mr. Technical, what's up? Who else is in the house? What's up? Let me join the live stream on my computer. So, what's up, guys? Lucas Rosa, what's up, man? All the way from Brazil. I don't remember if you actually live in Brazil, but I know you're from Brazil. Mustache Cash Dash, what's up? What's up, man? Welcome to the live stream. Definitely. Oh, we have tennis in the house. Tennis, the live stream oh, looks good. The... Oh, man. Yeah, it actually does look good. Sweet. Yes, 100% Brazil. All right, guys. It's my birthday, so make sure you wish me happy birthday and smash a thumbs up button for this video one time, man. Oh, it's a big day for me. It's birthday. Bye. Watching Barca versus Levante. Yahoo. Yeah, I know that match is going on. Um, I actually don't watch too much La Liga football. I watch EPL, so it's good to take a day off. There's games going on in the FA Cup, but I'm taking a break today. Happy birthday, Julian Cruz, MCFC. What's up, man? Carlos, what's up? Happy birthday. Harambe Productions. Harambe, did you say happy birthday yet? I'm not answering any questions until all you guys say happy birthday. I'm setting some ground rules up in here right now. I'm not answering any questions until you say happy birthday. All right, thank you very much for everyone who have said happy birthday, you know, Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the stream. It's an awesome feeling to stream with you guys. I'm here to do some transfer talk. You know, as I said, transfer talk, a live show. So we're here to talk about confirmed transfers. We're here to talk about transfer rumors all over, you know. Let's just have some fun today and talk about the transfers that's going on in the current January transfer window. Diako Rizai, what's up? What's good, man? What's good? Welcome back to the stream. Curtiston in the house. Um, KFC Bulls, what's up? Germany in the house, man. Could you give us a piece of cake? I actually don't have any cake. Like, I'm old and I'm not really into the habit of, um, you know, doing traditional birthday stuff. Dior Bofenda, he said, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Dior Bofenda, is this, um, is this my friend from Instagram? I think so. He looked like him. This is my German friend from Instagram. Confirm, please. Confirm. Daniel Refi said, happy birthday. Daily Sucker, happy birthday. All right, guys. So let's talk about some... You can keep saying happy birthday if you haven't said it yet. But let's talk about some transfers that have happened, that have been confirmed so far. You know? So, um, guys... We could do this two ways. I could talk about it or you guys could suggest which ones you want me to talk about first. Um, so we talk about Diego Costa. Okay, let's talk about Diego Costa. Diego Costa has moved back 
to Atletico Madrid from Chelsea. Um, it says for an undisclosed fee, but I think it was like for the region around maybe 60 plus million euros. Um, and I think he got sent off on his uh, return. Like, you know, the first match, he got sent off. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. But, um, guys, do you think that Chelsea is um, missing Diego Costa? You know, we have um, Alvar Morata up front, but you saw what he did in that game. Um, was that game versus Arsenal? Like, oh, man, he was horrible in that game. Like, he missed three one-on-one -on -one encounters with the goalie. Three one-on-one. -on -one. You know, imagine playing FIFA and you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and you miss. It's a similar feeling of our Morata must have felt when he missed those three shots. Okay, um, so Diego Costa to Atletico Madrid. He went back home. I guess that's the club he really made his name with. So it's only right. He should have. I think he should have stayed there in the first place. But a lot of people chase the glory, they chase the money, and after they realize like, oh man, this, this isn't for me, this isn't for me at all, I better get my butt back to where I first started. And he's back, linking up back with Diego Simeone at Atletico Madrid, you know, so... Congratulations on your move, Diego Costa. He had to wait like six months or, or so, a good while before he could actually play because of Atletico Madrid's transfer ban. Roxic said, happy birthday. Thank you very much. You know, okay, KFC Bulls, no matter with Costa, Chelsea win no cups this season. Oh, oh. oh boy. Yeah. So Diego Costa moving back to um, Atletico Madrid. First transfer we talk about. All right, let's move on. From Diego Costa. Very big transfer though. Very big transfer between the region of 60 and 70 million euros or pounds or whatever. Might be pounds. Might be pounds. Okay. Dior said, actually, Conte couldn't handle Costa's attitude. Yeah, like, players need to chill out a little, man. Players need to chill out, you know. No need for the attitude. All right, the next transfer that we are going to talk about is, um, guys, let's talk about the big one. Virgil van Dijk from Southampton to Liverpool. Like, Liverpool was going in for him all summer, and they finally got their man after the first half of the season has been completed. And he looks to be pretty happy, very happy. Virgil van Dijk, I must say, very, very happy. Um, he he actually scored the winner on his debut versus um, Everton. So very good start to his career. You know, Audi, is that a sign that he's gonna have a fruitful career with Liverpool? Just might be. Just might be. Okay. Um. So let me read some comments. Virgil Van Dijk ready to destroy City. Oh. A jab at Manchester City by um, KFC Bulls. Jesus, man, what a jab! What a what a what a jab below the waist. Just he said, "Happy birthday, Dominic, man! Thank you very much." But the Virgil Van Dijk move, I think, is a big move for Liverpool because their defense with Clavan. And Lovren or even Joel Matip is, you know, it's pretty average, man. Average and these players make a lot of mistakes. All three players have made major mistakes leading up to a goal. So Virgil van Dijk will look to, you know, put a plug to that, you know, because it's 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 costing Liverpool a lot, a lot of points, I must say. And it's costing them big games. Look at what happened in the Champions League and even the league. Um, too many careless mistakes by these defenders. Who, like Lovren, he was actually a de more decent defender when playing for Southampton. But I guess when you start getting paid a little bit more, it's like, mm, I don't know if players tend to lose their focus or something, man. You know? 
Small fatty 619, your predictions was wrong. Coventry won. Ha ha ha. Is that Coventry you're talking about? Yes, a lot of my predictions for the FA Cup was wrong because I was like, I don't know, man. Predictions, you don't have to get your all your predictions right. It's just a prediction, so it's fine. It's fine by me. It's really fine. But Virgil van Dijk move to Liverpool can, you know, help them finish top four in the EPL this season. Definitely, man. Definitely. Um, you know, Liverpool versus Man City coming up next week. Oh, man, what a game that would be. You know, I'll be at work for that match, but come on, guys. You know, even when I'm at work, I don't miss any games. I still watch the games while I'm at work. So, you know, I'm not going to miss that game at all. So, KFC Bulls said 4-1 to Liverpool. Oh, and in the FA Cup, anything can definitely happen. Yes, Stoke lost, and I did say that Stoke might lose that game. I did predict a win for them, but... I did say if they lose this game that Mark Hughes will get the boot and he actually did. So too bad. I feel bad for Mark Hughes, but Stoke has done really, really bad this season, I must say. They have quality in the team and I really don't know what's going on with that team. But guys, let's move on to the next confirm transfer of the current January transfer window. It's the big Sandro Wagner of half, formerly of Hoffenheim to Bayern Munich. Like, no one saw this one coming. I didn't see this one coming, and this one is a shock transfer to me. He has moved for 11 million pounds. So, hmm, not, you know, there's not a lot of big transfers to the, um, to, to, um, the, what you call it, the Bundesliga or, you know, between Bundesliga clubs because Premier League clubs got a lot more money than the Bundesliga clubs, you must say, a better, a more lucrative television deal and stuff like that. And, you know, Sanjo Wagner earns his move to the big stage, FC Bayern, following the footsteps of former club mates, now club mates, Sebastian Rudy and Nicholas Sula. So... Hoffenheim losing their best players to Bayern Munich. Another trend continues, you know. First it was Borussia Dortmund. Now it's Hoffenheim. So all the best in your career, Sandro Wagner, as he pushed to make the German squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Guys, don't forget Super Chat is on. It's my birthday. You can donate some money to me for my birthday as well. That will be a nice birthday present for me. Or you can even go to Spreadshirt.com and cop the Rick Squad merchandise. Don't forget that. Do not forget. Or you can send me something in the mail. Um, Manchester City FC just put up the mailing address. Come on, guys. Show some love. You know, give back. I'm giving you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of content, guys. So you must give back to your YouTubers, okay? Don't forget that. Next transfer, um, did you see the youngster going to Arsenal? Yes, I actually just saw that. Um, he started a professional career, but I don't think he's going to go with the first team right now. But let's move on. Mario Gomez moved from Wolfsburg to Stuttgart. For 3.1 million pounds. You know, I guess his move from, um, he was playing in Turkey, I think. Can't remember what club. What club was Mario Gomez playing for in Turkey? Somebody let me know that, please. Somebody. Okay, AVJ123, I can send you a Club America jersey. Yes, thank you very much. Medium or large, medium or large, guys. Medium for the nice close fit, large for a looser fit. You know, guys, you know, it's my birthday, man. I ain't lying about that at all. Um, definitely can't lie about your birthday or else you would have two birthdays in the year. So um, send me whatever you want. The link is in the description. The address is in the description box, guys, um, down below. So Mario Gomez, what club did he play for in Turkey? Was it Fenerbahce? Was it Fenerbahce? All right, guys, just to let you know, even though I have um, mods in the stream, I have put on the, um, a review to review messages that has bad words in it and stuff. So I'll review it. 
For example, I just got a message to review um, by Daniel Refi. Gomez sucks. Guys, you have to use um, the right words, please. The right words. Um, maybe you say, um, Mario Gomez ain't that good anymore, you know? Remember, Mario Gomez is a person, he has feelings, so, you know, show some respect. So, I will not approve that comment. Sorry. Um, where did Mario Gomez play in Turkey? Was it Fenerbahce, guys? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Um, let me know, guys. But Mario Gomez is going back to Stuttgart. Yes, I do remember him um, was playing for Stuttgart. And, you know, I think he went to Bayern Munich. And now then he, you know, he went to Turkey and then he's back. Or maybe I missed it. Maybe he went to a few other clubs. But, you know, that's a big move. Will Mario Gomez make Germany's World Cup squad, guys? Do you think he will make the squad? Do you think they will that he will be? The um, Miroslav closer at the 2018 World Cup. Will he be Miroslav closer of 2018? Because Germany is going to miss Miroslav closer for sure. Center forward, very cheeky, put himself in very, very good positions. He's a um, clinical striker, poacher, and Mario Gomez is the closest that Germany has to him. So... No, Gomez won't make it. Oh, I actually think Gomez might make it. You know, I actually think he might make the German squad to, um, can you send me a jersey? Oh, MCFC. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me move on, guys. Guillaume Arana. He has moved from Corinthians to Sevilla. I really don't know this player. I don't watch the Brazilian league, but he has moved for 9.8 million pounds. So he must be a highly rated player. Guilherme Arana. Guys, what do you know about Guilherme Arana? What do you know about Guilherme Arana? Because I do not know this player at all. Guilherme Arana. All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Does anyone know Guillerme Arana? Arana is very good. Okay, Lucas Santos, you're Brazilian, so you should know what's going on. Um, let me see. I have birthday. I can have jersey. <laughs> Guillerme Arana, KFC Bulls. Guillerme Arana. Transferred to Sevilla from Corinthians in the Brazilian League for... 9.8 million pounds. That's a lot of money, though. That's a lot of money for an unknown player. You know, so... Tottenham needs to... Players like Tammy Abraham and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Well, Tottenham is always going to go for the cheaper options, you know. Remember that they're always going to go for the cheaper options. Very cheap club. Not going to spend a lot of money on the right players. <coughs> Musa Sissoko. Um, um, you think of um, that guy. What's his name again? Vincent Janssen. They, they, they make some good signings, but very suspicious signings sometimes. You know, so... So, Kev Sibol said, wow, a Brazilian not to Donetsk. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a very good one. Tottenham are terrible. They want to go. They want to go to a small club. Okay. Happy birthday. Please reply. Afifa Ben Abdullah. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Um, shout outs to me. Definitely. Thank you very much. So, Guilherme Arana. I need to know a little bit more about Guilherme Arana because I don't really know anything about Guilherme Arana and not a lot of you guys know. Okay, guys, so he's a 20-year-old. He's from Sao Paulo, Brazil. So he's a Brazilian and um, he played for Corinthians. He's a defender. So, guys, guys, you might see him move into one of these bigger clubs pretty soon. Who knows, even Barcelona or Real Madrid. Because you guys know, Sevilla is a big feeder club though. Sevilla is one of the feeder clubs 
from Spain. A lot of their players move on to bigger clubs. So he's a 20-year-old, I guess, highly rated defender from Brazil. So definitely going to check out some um, Guilherme Arana videos and stuff to see what this player is like. You know, so guys, don't forget today is my birthday. Treat me good. Be special. Behave yourselves in the stream. Definitely. Um, don't forget to hit the like button as well. You can even share this stream so someone else might discover the channel and join. Don't forget to try to help out the channel in every way that you can. All right. So um, guys, let's move on to the next big transfer, which is Ahmed Hegazi. The Egyptian defender making his move from Al Ali to West Bromwich Albion permanent. Four million pounds. Highly rated defender, um, but West Brom is currently struggling right now. Bottom of the EPL table. I think they are 19th or 20th. De Dem and um, Swansea are fighting it out for the last place. So um, Ahmed Hegazi, I've seen him play. He looks pretty cool on the ball and he looks like a really good prospect for the future. And plus he's going to be in um, Egypt World Cup squad. So you guys will get to see a lot of Ahmed or uh, Ahmed Higazi. He's currently 26 years old. So he is kind of late, but it's really good to see players from that region, you know, playing in the Premier League though, definitely, or not even from that region, from clubs in Egypt, you know, that means that the Premier League clubs are doing their scouting and stuff like that, so really good, really, really good, um, let's move on to the next transfer, which is Luciano Vieto, he has moved from Atletico Madrid to Valencia on a loan deal, well, I'm really surprised that Luciano Viet Vietti or Vietti is it Vietti or Vietto? Well, I think they probably made a mistake, but it doesn't matter. But um, he these guys should have these guys should have blew up already though. I think um, Angel Correa and Luciano Vietto or Vietti is taking too long to blow. You know what do you guys think about this Argentine striker? Definitely taking too long to blow up and. You know, I've seen him in FIFA, very highly rated. You know, he got a lot of potential, but just not fulfilling it. Um, I think it's definitely Vieto. I know it's Vieto. 24 years old. And why isn't he, like, big yet? I don't know. But his move to Valencia, you know, might prove to be a career defining one let's just wait and see but next transfer hmm, what is this next transfer is marco piaka from juventus to schalke on loan guys what do you think about this maybe his his um opportunities at juventus was a bit limited so he wants to you know get some first team football he moves to Schalke who who are currently doing better than last season in the German Bundesliga so they're trying to beef up their squad and they add Piaka to the lineup guys do you know about Piaka I do know about him I haven't watched him play too much but he is a 22 year old Croatian we should see him at the World Cup but he is very highly rated as well as, you know, most Croatian players are. Okay. All right. What's going on here? Daniel Refi, I love my mom. What's going on? What, is, what are you guys talking about? But um, anyways, let me read some comments. Comments. Okay. Valencia making moves. Looking to go back to late 90s and early 2000s squads. Valencia is actually looking to, you know, they could be back into the Champions League next season. That would be awesome because last season they were horrible and they have made a really big U-turn, you know, and they're doing much better this season, I must say. Much, much better. They were actually at one time relegation candidates last season. And for a big club like Valencia, it's like, what? What's going on here? Who's managing this team? But anyways, let's move on. Terence Congolo has completed a loan move from Monaco to Huddersfield in 
the Premier League. So this is a big boost for Huddersfield. And they don't have a lot of money to spend like most of the other Premier League clubs. But um, so that's why they're signing him on a loan deal. I guess if he impresses, they will make the deal permanent. So look forward for that, guys. Terence Congolo, look out for him. All right. So, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Why do I have one dislike in this? It's my birthday. Whoever disliked this is such like, I don't know what to say about you. It's my birthday and you're hitting the dislike button like so, so stupid, I must say. So stupid. It's like the last live stream got 15 dislikes. I'm like, why? So I began to think like maybe someone who got blocked from the live stream actually came back and made 15 accounts and disliked the live stream. That's one possibility because while I was blocking people from the stream the last time, they popped up again with another account. So... You know, that's not out of the question at all. That's definitely not out of the question. People are really weird. And, you know, they just don't understand just to just chill out, man. Just chill out, you know. Okay. So, next transfer we're going to talk about is Carlos Vela moving from Real Sociedad in La Liga to LAFC Los Angeles FC in the... MLS, 4.5 million pounds. So the highly rated Mexican attacking player, you know, have moved from Spain to the USA, closer to home. And do you guys think this is a good move? Carlos Vela moving from Real Sociedad to LAFC. I think LAFC is a new club in the, um, the MLS. I don't know much about MLS. Like, I really don't follow the MLS. I'm not afraid to say that. But um, I personally think that any player who moves to the MLS, not a good move at all. Not a good move. I would have preferred to see him move to the Liga MX. You know, that would have been a big move. You know what I mean? But not to the MLS, man. MLS, your career is just going down. Down, 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 down. So, let's move on to the next sign-in, which is the Everton... Former Everton player Ross Barkley to Chelsea for 15 million pounds. Well, I actually think this deal is kind of it's kind of a suspect deal because 15 million for a player like Ross Barkley, England international, highly rated, even though he was injured, 15 million pounds though. Like that's kind of that's kind of suspicious, man. What do you think? What do you think? That's kind of suspicious. All right. Let me see. So did somebody said something? Okay. So Diego Bravo said something and... Okay. Okay. Um, guys, we will not tolerate any racist remarks or any abusive remarks in the live stream please let's not do that what's up stefan muradali all the way from trinidad and tobago man what's up welcome to the live stream you know but guys russ barkley to everton let's move on russ barkley to everton and guys say hi to uh, my channel for people promo okay <laughs> the stream is being very well um, moderated by myself and the mods. So a lot of, lot of comments are being held for review, like people trying to spam, trying to promote their channels and stuff like that. Like, if you're not promoting my channel, I can't promote your channel. I'm sorry about that. I'll be back. Let me get some water. All right, so Ross Barkley to Chelsea. Chelsea is beefing up their midfield even more. And, you know, that's a good sign. They're still in a lot of competitions. You know, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, UEFA Champions League, and, of course, the EPL. So 
it's only fair that they, you know, they make signings. And I must say, this is a really good signing. Once he stays fit, he's a good player. And that's a really good move for Chelsea. They have Bakayoko, Engolo, Kante, Ras, Barkley, Danny, Drinkwater. All these players in the middle. Looking pretty good for Chelsea. Very, very good club. With a whole lot of loanies. But, you know, Ross Barkley, really good deal. And Everton, man, bad business, I think, for Everton. Because, you know, for a team trying to improve, to lose a player like him isn't good. But I guess he wasn't happy at Everton at all. But let's move on from Ross Barkley. Really good signing by Chelsea, I must say. 15 million pounds. What a bargain. What a deal for him. Okay. Next signing, Jenk Toussaint from Besiktas to Everton. So, Everton in for striker, and guess who they go for? Highly rated Besiktas striker, Schenk Tucson. This is a really, I think this is bad business by Besiktas. Like, Tucson was one of your chief destroyers in the, um, the Champions League, and you sell him. Going into the um, round of 16 to face Bayern Munich, not good business by Besiktas at all, man. I, I really don't like this move. Um, I don't think he will do well at Everton. I just, I, I don't know. He just looks like a flop signing to me. £27 million, pounds, um, Jean Toussaint. I, I, I really, I, I give this signing a big thumbs down. He should have stayed at Besiktas for real. At least until the summer. At least until the summer. But January, nah. It's just desperation from Everton, I must say. What do you guys think about the Jenk Tucson signing? And the reason I'm saying Jenk is I've been corrected many times by Turkish people. It's not Senk, it's Jenk. And plus, a lot of the English commentators are still going to say Senk Tucson. So, you know what it is. He's a 20, he's 26 years old, by the way, guys. 26 years old. He's a Turkish international. So he's pretty good. He is pretty good. Okay, why would we want why would he want to go to Everton? Exactly. That's another, you know, good question. Why Everton though? Look at what Everton did with the um Gilfie Sigurdsson. Gilfie, like, I don't think like Gilfie Sigurdsson was such a good player at Swansea City. But guess what? He moved to Everton for more money. It's about money. Just remember that it's about money. And you know what? He made his move. And I don't think he's completely happy there. Because in crucial matches, Sam Allardyce isn't playing him. You know, so it's really sad. It's definitely sad. Look at Schneiderlin, Rooney. All these guys went to Everton. Everton is just a big struggle club, man. You know? Just a big struggle club. And... I, I, I just feel bad for them. Mediocre, to say the least. But let's move on to the next signing, guys. Let me see if I covered all the signings in this thing that I have right here. Um, okay. Let's talk about the big one a little bit. And then we'll talk about some other smaller signings that actually happened. Um... Okay, let me read some. Let me read some comments. Um, Umtiti is the best defender, but I think um, Barcelona doesn't want M Umtiti anymore, though. I think they don't want him. I saw they like Valverde. He's using um, Thomas Vermeulen a lot in the in the, in the back. Um, Umtiti probably falling out of favor. Or he got injured. I'm not sure what's going on, but. I'm hearing him be linked to Manchester City. It will be a good signing. Yeah. Oh, he's injured. Okay, you should know because you have him as your, you know, your profile picture. So, but I don't know, man. I really don't know. I really don't know what's going on at Barcelona right now. And I don't know where they're getting all that money from to be paying these players because it's a lot of money. Messi, half a million a week in salary alone you know so that's big that's definitely big oh the Neymar money 
But it's only, you know, like they already bought Usman Dembele for so much money and now Philip Coutinho. So they're really spending. Every club wants to be the top club in Europe. And how to achieve that? You have to spend big. You're not going to be, uh, you know, a small club and, you know, you're going to win everything. You can. You can do it for one season. But after that season, best believe that the big clubs are going to come for your players and the players are going to move. Because if a player is making, for example, $25,000 a week, you know, and he's having a wonderful season like he's on fire, he's scoring goals, he's assisting, he's just being spectacular. You know, he's the hottest thing on the block right now. Guess what? The bigger clubs come in, they circle around, they circle around like sharks or they circle around like vultures and... They come in, they, they offer the player, you know, triple their salary and they sign. So you guys have to understand, it's not the players are, are disloyal. It's like you got to think about it, man. If, for example, you know, you're making 25K a week and someone says, hey, move to my club and you make 75K, what are you going to do? You can either go to your club and say, hey, listen here, such and such, they're interested in me, um... I'm interested in a move, but guess what? If you pay me 50K a week, if you double my salary, I will stay. Sometimes a lot of clubs are not willing to do that because they want to balance out their whole salary situation and all of that. So they just say, you know what? But guess what? We prefer to take the whole bag of money that they're offering us and sell you. Take that money and reinvest that money and flip it or something and you go on to make your 75k. So a lot of times that's what happened. But let's talk about Philip Coutinho, man. Let's talk about him moving from Liverpool to Barcelona. So Philip Coutinho, I want to pull up some stats and stuff so we could talk a bit about Philip Coutinho. Okay. <clears throat> Oh boy. So guys, Philip Cartino first played for Vasco under 17. I think that's like Vasco da Gama. That's a club in Brazil and that's since 2008. You know, so that was a while ago, 2008. Then he moved from Vasco to Inter Milan at 17 years old. And I think when you're 17, they can't actually play you. So Inter loaned him back to Vasco right away. And then he moved, after he left Vasco, he moved back to Inter. And from Inter, he went on a loan deal to Espanyol in Spain. So he did play in Spain before. And from Espanyol, he went back to Inter. And then from Inter, he went to Liverpool for 8.1 million pounds. So... He went to Liverpool. He's been there since 2002, not 2012 to 2013. So that's five years playing at Anfield, playing in the Premier League, and he has done very, very well. Let me um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Um, let me pull up some of his stats so we can talk more about Philip Coutinho's career and his performance at um Liverpool. And the reason I'm doing this for Coutinho is because he's the biggest signing so far and all the players aren't. You know, I spoke a little bit about Virgil van Dijk. I elaborated a, a bit about him. So, um, for... Okay. So, let's talk about his performances for the clubs he played for. Okay. So, for Espanyol, he made 16 appearances, scoring five times. And I think one assist. One assist. So it wasn't a bad season for him at Espanol at all. Um, let, me, let me see. How old was he? He's 25 years old right now. So he was a teenager playing for Espanol. So a teenager in La Liga, you know, that's not bad at all. That's not a bad return. Five goals, you know, from 16 matches. Coutinho. Oh, <laughs> So he then at Inter, his career was it wasn't it wasn't a good career at all at Inter. 
47 appearances, 5 goals, 4 assists. So he probably wasn't happy and he decided to move on to Liverpool, which, you know, he played 201 matches and he scored 54 goals, 46 assists, and he is definitely a Liverpool legend. What do you guys think about Philip Coutinho? Okay, football, Penuana, happy birthday from you. From you know who. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Um, KFC Bowls, live, street, live score from Nottingham versus Arsenal. Nil, nil. So what do you guys think about Philip Coutinho? Let's chat a bit. Liverpool, legend. 200 matches, 50 goals, the highest scoring Brasilia, Brazilian player ever in the English Premier League. Like, what a record to have, and he's only 25 years old. So this is like the, you know, the perfect time to step up again. So he stepped up, you know, from Liverpool to Barcelona. So that's a big step. Okay. Coutinho is a tank. What do you mean by that? Is he like a war tank? That's what you're talking about? LC Ortega said Pulisic will end up at China. LOL. I don't think so. I really don't think he will go to China. He would... He would move back to the MLS before he moved to China. Can we talk about Kevin Morales? Yeah, I'm aware that Kevin Morales actually made a loan move from um, Everton to one of those clubs in Turkey. I don't, can't remember which one. Maybe Fenerbahce or Galatasaray. Which club? Uh, let me see. Let me double check that. Kevin Morales. Oh, Olympiakos. It's not Galat. It's not Turkey. He went to Greece. So he went to Olympiakos. And he was a very highly rated player. Playing for Everton. 30 years old. You know, put in a lot of minutes for Everton. But I guess not getting the time right now on the field. And he has moved on. So um, all the best. Kevin Morales in um, Greece. It's like a vacation spot down there, so he will enjoy himself. So prime time is up in here. Said Rich Squad reporting from the six. Happy birthday, my brother, from another mother. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Um, first match of Philip Coutinho in Vasco was a 6 0 against Botafogo at Derby. He scored two goals. Awesome, man. Awesome. Awesome. Can we talk about Paulo Guerrero? Well, this is not a this is this is a transfer stream. We're talking about transfers only in this stream. Transfers. So guys, since we already talked about most of the confirmed sign-ins, I think there's a few more confirmed sign-ins, like this Greek player Mavro Panos. He he signed with Arsenal and they loaned him right back out, I think, to a club in Germany. I'm not sure. But um he is definitely one for the future since, you know, um, these Arsenal defenders are getting pretty old. Murta Saka, Lauren Kishelny, you know, these guys are getting old, man. So, yes, um, Arsene Wenger is, you know, signing backups, you know, sending them out on loan. So when these players move on, he will just bring them back and they will slot right in. Okay. So, um, can we talk about Fahad Al-Mualad? Mualad, because he might go to a European team. What team is he moving to? What team? Where have you seen that um, transfer rumor? Christopher Hargren is up in here. Congrats to you. I recently had a birthday myself. Happy belated birthday, Christopher Hargren. Thank you very much. Today is the big day, man. Getting older. Who will be moderator? How do you decide, Dominic Rich? Moderators are people who actually behave themselves in the stream, who have been commenting on the channel for a while, you know, who haven't been causing any drama on the, in the comment section and stuff like that. And people who I think will be very, very responsible and trustworthy because moderators have a very, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big deal because mods could actually defeat, um, delete I just saw the comment that says um, Arsenal is losing and I said defeat. They could actually delete comments on my actual 
real videos, you know, so if they see something going on in one of the real videos I put up, they could actually delete the comments and stuff like that. So just to let you know, mods, you have that power if you didn't know. Um, I think I have two mods in here. Christopher Hogan was in here and AVJ123 was in here. I don't know if he's still part of the live stream, but um, Christopher Hogan is from Sweden. AVJ is from Mexico. Diego Bravo. All right, Diego Bravo, you need to chill out yourself. No more comments, okay? No more bad comments, please. There are a few Spanish spectators in the Saudi League, and he might be moving to La Liga. Oh, I see. Well, that might not be a bad move, but it might be with one of the smaller clubs. I think. That's what I think. I live in England, but my family from Sweden said football knowledge. All right, thank you very much. Now I know you're from England, definitely. Diego Bravo, can I have your leftover tacos from last night? I'm hungry. Ha <laughs> ha, what a good joke, man. Good joke, guys. But let's talk about some um, transfer rumors. Um, okay. Let's talk about some Manchester City transfer rumors. All right, I'm reading that there's a, a, a rumor about Harry, Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire, the Leicester City defender, you know, rumored to move to Manchester City. And this rumor is re being reported by The Sun. The Sun is, I think, it's a newspaper or something like that. So they're reporting that Harry Maguire, you know, will move to Manchester City. I actually like... Harry Maguire, I've seen him play and he is really determined. I see him running forward. He's a center back and he's running forward. He scored a goal um, um, versus, uh, was it Manchester United? Manchester United and that was, that was crazy, man. That was crazy. I think they drew that match. I can't remember. The, there's so many games that I can't even remember the games from last week. It's, it's like so many games, man. I'm telling you. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but, you know, Harry Maguire, he's a really good defender. He was signed by Hull, from Hull City, you know, Leicester City signed him. I think it was um, Craig Shakespeare who made that signing. He's, a, no, he's now sacked by Leicester, and he's been really good for Leicester City, I must say. He's one of these players that shows heart, and he, he looks like he's fully committed, and he, he just runs for the entire duration of the match, so... Harry Maguire would not be a bad signing, but for 50 million pounds, they said a 50 million pound bid. I don't think that one is happening. Definitely not in the January transfer window at all. What do you guys think about Harry Maguire moving from Leicester City to Manchester City? What do you guys think about that? So Mark Harrop said, happy birthday, Dominic. Thank you very much, man. Guys, if you have a smash a thumbs up button for this video, make sure you smash it. Thank you. Really appreciate you leaving a like. So, um, <clears throat> so Harry Maguire. Okay. What do you guys think about Harry Maguire, guys? He would say a bad signing. Carlson, what's up? Bad signing. Is Murta Saka still playing? How old is he? Yes. I think he is still playing. He makes an occasional appearance off the bench now and again. He's really old. He's old and he's slow. You know, but Harry Maguire, Diego Bravo said he's okay. I've actually seen the player, you know, play. So don't say he's okay if you haven't seen him play. Only speak on things you know about, guys. Don't forget that. Be honest, you know, and no need to um, say or oh, play. No need to rate a player if you don't know too much about that player. KFC Bowls, Leicester falling apart, getting relegated next season. Is it next season or this season? Because not this season, but maybe next season. I've seen him play. Yes, Diego Bravo, I wasn't directly talking about you, but I was just talking in general. Watch their game against Liverpool. Don't want Maguire at City. Nah. All right, so Mark. 
Sorry guys, sorry, got bumped off a bit there. Um, Harry Maguire is decent, but doesn't seem like a city signing, said Jamil Yaro. Yes guys, offline for just a few seconds, man. You know, you know the, the, thing, the app crashes from time to time. But guys, I'm actually in the process of upgrading my whole live stream setup. I'm looking at a, cam, uh, a webcam right now, so it would actually be on my um, laptop so I could actually have it on my laptop which I have right here guys you know I have an Apple you know I use Apple I have a MacBook Pro so I'll put it on top of the MacBook and I could actually do my research while I stream you know so all the information I need will be right there because guys a lot of times the information that I'm talking to you about is actually things that I've read and is actually in my head so actually having something to to just give you concrete details it's very good it's very good cr7 to psg i don't think that one is happening i don't think it's happening not this season at all definitely not this season but guys do you think that cr7 will move on from real madrid eventually do you think he will i want to hear what you guys think man Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's spice up the, the live stream. Cristiano Ronaldo transfer rumor up in here. Moving to PSG. How much will he be sold for? If Neymar was sold for $222 million, how much will Cristiano Ronaldo be sold for? He's currently rated at £108 million, by the way. So... Most of the times you get more money than you're rated at or sometimes you get less, you know. But how much money do you think PSG will have to pay for Cristiano Ronaldo? I'm reading some comments. Strike with Sid, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Did you say happy birthday? Guys, today's my birthday. Don't forget that. Today is my birthday. So make sure you say nice things to me and treat me nice because it's a special day. All right. And don't forget, guys, to go check out Get your Rich Squad merchandise. Support the movements, man. Support the movement. And show me that you effed with the vision. Okay? Don't forget that. All right. So Cristiano Ronaldo of Real Madrid, formerly of Manchester United. You know, how good would Manchester United feel if Cristiano Ronaldo comes back? Mm. They would love that, huh? They would love that. But let's look at some Cristiano Ronaldo transfer rumors. Well, he's been rumored to go to Man, back to Man United a lot. You know, so I haven't been hearing much rumors about him so far this season. But, you know, he is always one in the rumors. Okay, um, let me read a few comments here. LC Ortega said Ronaldo will move. Mark Harrop, that should be 509 million pounds. Woo. Lucas Rosa. Once CR7 said that he will end his career in Sporting Lisboa. Well, that's not a bad move for him, but I, at this point, I don't think he's gonna make it. I think Cristiano Ronaldo could make a move to Sporting Lisbon if Portugal wins the World Cup. Say Portugal, you know, win the World Cup. He have achieved almost everything. All these Ballon d'Ors, you know, golden shoes, golden boots, um, Euros, and now the World Cup. Well, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. And he would say, okay, you know what? Maybe I play one more season at Real Madrid because I'm the World Cup man now. Yes, I'm the World Cup man. You know, sign me, you know, pay me more money this season for winning the World Cup. And then, you know, sell a lot of merchandise and stuff like that because, come on, you're the World Cup man. And then, after, you know, maybe winning the Champions League again with Real Madrid, he then, you know... Sails off into the sunset, playing one final season at Sporting Lisbon, who also qualifies for the Champions League that season. And, you know, who knows? Sporting go on to lift the Champions League again. <laughs> what, a, you know, what an imagination I have. What an imagination. But that would be crazy if uh, Cristiano Ronaldo go on to finish his career like that. That would be crazy. That would be the best ever career too when you really look at it. But um, MW Choli, but the change of CR7 winning the World Cup, the chance is really low. 
M.W. Choli, what? Who do you think is gonna win the World Cup? Though, who do you think is gonna win it? Because, um, do you think that Denmark got what it takes to win the World Cup? Do you think? But let's not do too many, too much World Cup talk right now. We're talking about transfers. So, guys, let's move move on to the next, um, the next big transfer rumor. It's Alexis Sanchez. The Chilean forward moving from Arsenal to Manchester City. Okay, guys, how possible or how likely you think that one is to happen? Cristiano Ronaldo, then Alexis Sanchez. Oh, man, we are talking about some big players here. Alexis Sanchez to Manchester City. Luigi Smash, what's up, man? What's up? Did you wish me happy birthday already, Luigi Smash? It's my birthday. Guys, if you haven't wished me happy birthday yet, I'm waiting. I'm not going to read your comments if you don't wish me happy birthday. Okay? EFJ is up in here. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a lot more. And may peace be with you and your loved ones. Thank you very much, man. Daily Sucker 3. Happy Thanksgiving. See, never take, can't take you seriously, man. Um, Strike with Sid, 99, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Sanchez was managed for Guardiola in Barcelona. Yes, he was managed by um, Guardiola already. So that move looks pretty likely to happen, man. Alexis Sanchez, I really admire this player since his Barcelona days. So I will like to see this one happening. And, you know... It wouldn't affect his World Cup chances also because he will not be playing at the World Cup. So Sanchez could basically do whatever he wants. I think moving from Arsenal to Manchester City, he's going to earn more money as well. You know, okay. Sai Hattie said, I said happy birthday, but you never reply. Sorry, I didn't see. There's a lot of comments coming in and stuff. Thank you very much. Luigi Smash said happy birthday. Thank you very much. Every J123 said Feliz Cumpleanos. Muchos gracias. Man, thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. What if every team had to restart their team? All of the team has 500 million to spend. Who would win? They actually do this thing in cricket in this in the in Indian in the Indian Premier League. What they actually be doing every season, they restart all the teams. You have an option to retain, I think, up to three or four players. So you could say, okay, for example, if Man City have to, you know, refresh their team next season, they would be like, okay. They would be like, um, we're gonna keep, for example, David Silva. Edison, Kevin De Bruyne, and maybe Fernandinho, four players. And then you have a certain amount of money to spend and you go in for each player. So there's a bidding war. There's a bidding war going on for each player. So, you know, that, that would be interesting though. That would really be interesting. So if you go ahead and you sign, you know, you use up most of your money to sign three big players then maybe you'll have like $20 million to sign 10 players, you know? So then you start signing some lower quality players and some, you know, more bargain signings. It will make an interesting, um, you know, competition for real. But Alexis Sanchez, man, 29 years old from Chile, plays primarily on the left wing. Manchester City are interesting in the Chilean, man. His career... His contract, I mean, it ends in six months. So Arsenal needs to either renew his contract, which he is currently refusing to do. He's not signing a new contract or a contract extension. So if Arsenal don't sell him, guys, if Arsenal don't sell him in this current transfer window, he will move on a free, a free so why not sell him now and get maybe half the price you would have got in the summer? So that's the whole thinking behind Alexis Sanchez signing. And, you know, he's been with Arsenal since 2014, you know. That's four years, man. Four years and it's a long time. He haven't won the league. I think he won a few, you know, maybe FA Cup. Or, yeah, he did win the FA Cup maybe twice. 
He probably won something else. I'm not sure. But he's not winning trophies, man. He's not winning trophies at Arsenal at all. He won the FA Cup twice. He won... Okay, these are his... He, only the FA Cup, I think, he won. Only the FA Cup. He won a few trophies in Spain, but in England, only the FA Cup, which he have won twice. Okay, so um, I want to see some Alexis stats. Is Ter Stegen better than Edison? Well, right now you can't say he is because he's been playing with Barcelona for a longer time, but Edison is better on the ball, though. He's better on the ball than... um. Um, Ter Stegen, definitely. So Sanchez has played 122 times in the Premier League. 122 times, guys. And he has scored 60 goals. That's not bad. That's a goal every two games. 27 assists. So this guy is a, this is a big baller you're talking about. The stats proves him to be so. He has played 165 matches in all competition for Arsenal and he have scored 80 goals, 46 assists. Comparing to him playing 141 games at Barcelona, scoring 47 times and assisting 36. So his career has been on the up. For Udinese in the Serie A, he made 112 appearances and he scored 21 times and assisted 20 times. And for River Plate, he played for River Plate in the Argentine League um, 30 times and he scored four times and assisted three. So Sanchez, one of the best players in the world in my opinion, definitely. And I do think Manchester City should sign him. What do you guys think? What do you guys think, man, about Alexis Sanchez moving to Manchester City? Gabriel Jesus should play more. Well, he can't really play more right now because he's injured. He picked up an injury versus Crystal Palace. So he is not going to um, be playing a lot until he recovers. Luigi Smash says Sanchez could go to Bundesliga. Yes, that's a possibility as well. The Red Gamer is up in here. What's up? What do you think of Ozil and Di Maria being linked to Barcelona considering they're both former Real Madrid players? I do think it's quite possible. It's quite possible. But could Barcelona fit Mesut Ozil into the team right now? You just signed Philip Coutinho. You have Ousmane Dembele. You have Lionel Messi. You know, like, where is the room for these players? That's what I'm, I'm thinking about. Where is the room? You have Luis Suarez. You know, so they, might, they will have to definitely get rid of Andre Gomes. Definitely. They would have to get rid of maybe um, Dennis Suarez, maybe send him out on loan or sell him. And exactly, financial fair play doesn't work in the football oh, in the football world. It actually does apply, but it, to be honest, it doesn't seem like it's being applied at all. Because I know for sure that um, where is Barcelona getting all this money from though? Like two hundred and twenty-two million for Neymar. Spent it on Dembele, spent it on Philip Coutinho. That money should be done. I think that money should be done. And, you know, where's the, the rest money coming from? Um, um, Mark Harp said, I'm glad Arsenal are linked with Johnny Evans now. Dodging a bullet in my opinion. Oh, you think because Manchester City was linked with Johnny Evans also. And, yeah. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But Alexis Sanchez, I think, will sign with Manchester City. I hope he signs sometime this week. And we see him, you know, feature versus Liverpool. He will not... Okay, if, if he signs today or tomorrow, he will not play in the, um, the League Cup match. Ver not the League Cup. Yeah, the League Cup match versus um, Bristol City. But he will definitely feature versus Liverpool. Okay. So, Diego Bravo, will Ter Stegen take the number one role for Germany at the World Cup? And, okay, what is the second comment for, though? What is the fuck for? What, what is that for? Tell me. Explain yourself. What is, what is the language for, though? I'm waiting. First bench warmer for Neuer. 
Oh yes, definitely. Um, I don't think Stegen will definitely Stegen will not take the number one role in front of um Manuel Neuer. Once Manuel Neuer is actually playing, Stegen will definitely warm the bench. So carry. Keskimaki, whoa, what a name, man. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Diego Bravo, Neuer is not what he used to be. I understand that, but he's Manuel Neuer, though. Simple. It's that simple. It's just Manuel Neuer, and that's what it is. Do you think Emre Chan will come to Juve? It's quite possible, but with Philip Coutinho moving, it's kind of hard to see, but... With Nabi Keita coming, you can also see that happening. But let's wait until the summer. I think it can happen in the summer, but not actually right now. It's not necessary right about now. The Red Gamer says happy birthday. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, Guys, if you haven't smashed the like button for this video, get this video to 30 likes, man. Get it to 30 likes. I really appreciate it. 30 likes. Perrin should go to an EPL team now. Yeah, I've been using that guy, Mattia Perrin, for quite a while in um in FIFA games. He has a long hair. He looks really nice in the game. But I really don't know. I really haven't seen him played that much. So I don't know if he should. I, I really don't have an opinion on him when it comes to um real-life transfers. Okay. Let's move on to the next transfer rumor, Manchester City. Fred. Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk, man. Going, the Brazilian, highly rated midfielder moving to Man City. Do you guys see that one happening? It could actually happen. Chris Racial Games is up in here. What's up? Isaac. Isaac, what's up, Isaac? Um, What did you say again? I think it's better for Chucky Lozano to go to Arsenal because Alexis is leaving. I think Chucky Lozano should stay at PSV right about now until the end of the you know the season and maybe in the summer he can think about a move to a different club. But don't move right now. Stay where you are, Chucky Lozano. EFJ said, should David Ospina transfer out of Arsenal? And if so, what team should he be playing for? All right, David Ospina, Colombian goalkeeper. Being a backup player at Arsenal for a very, very long time. I think he should actually definitely, definitely move for a um, look for a move out of Arsenal. And if you want to stay in the Premier League, he could go to one of those other clubs, man. Newcastle is looking for a keeper. Um, West Ham seems like they're struggling, um, and they like to sign a lot of um, you know players who don't you know discarded players, um, unwanted players. West Ham is famous for that, so. Um, I think he could move to a, like a mid-table Premier League club. Not one of the struggling clubs, but maybe somebody in the middle. So, but maybe he's happy at Arsenal. Guys, maybe he is happy. It's up to the player. Maybe he's happy. He's probably making enough money at Arsenal. And he's like, okay, I'm cool. I get to play in the, you know, FA Cup and the League Cup matches. So I'm good anyway. You know, occasional, maybe Champions League match. If Arsenal is in the Champions League, you know, so maybe he's cool with that. Okay. Fred may not go to Manchester City. I'm not talking about the Fred who played for Brazil a few years ago. I'm talking about Fred. Dark skin Fred, Brazil, who plays for Shakhtar Donetsk in the Ukrainian Premier League. Okay, um, but Fred is is linked to Manchester City. And the headline said that Fred is waiting for Guardiola's call. I think, you know, I really like him. I really like Fred as well. So Arsenal is losing again, guys? No, 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 no. Let me take a look at this thing. Arsenal is losing again. They're not losing. It's 1-1. It's what are you talking about? Daily Sucker 3. Chill yourself, man. They're not losing. They are not losing. It's still 1-1. I just checked the score. Still 1-1. 44 minutes. Guys, who else is watching the game? Is the game 2-1 or is it 1-1? Because right now it's saying it's 1-1.
It's 2 1 on my thing. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Lucky. Lucky, lucky day of the soccer three. Arsenal is losing, man. Let me see the lineup. So, Pep Permata Saka scored a goal for Arsenal. Wow. Wow. Um, let me see something. So, the lineups, let me check this match out. Danny Welbeck, Alexi Wobie, Nelson, Tia Walker. The other game? Oh, Willock, El Nenny, Maitland Niles, Rob Holden, Murta Saka, Debushi, Ospina. It's a pretty weak squad. Pretty, pretty weak squad. Arsene Wenger is playing, and he thinks he's going to get away with playing the weak squad again and actually win the FA Cup. So, he actually starts out with a, you know, a weaker squad, and then... You know, he brings in the, the bigger guys. But it seems like Nottingham Forest is whooping their ass. So, this is crazy. This is a big one. I should be watching this game, though. I should be watching this game. I might just watch this game at halftime. Just might watch this game after the halftime. But let's move on. Fred to Manchester City. I would like to see this one happening. And, you know, this would definitely add depth to the team. Definitely add depth to the team. So, Rachel Game said, can you make a video about that? Well, I only wouldn't, oh, about, what, well, Pumas winning versus Pachuca. Well, I actually sh will make the video if I actually saw the game, but I didn't see the game. So, I really can't speak too much on the game. You know, so, I don't know. So Isaac Nostro, no, Nostroza said Memo Ochoa should go to a better team. He is a great goalkeeper. But what if he goes to a better team and the team becomes worse? You know, who knows? Who knows? Because I think he plays for Malaga. And Malaga been taking a beating, man. They've been taking a beating in the Premier League, um, the La Liga for a while. I said Premier League. But guys... Newest transfer, one of the newest transfer rumors that is up right now is Riyad Mahrez moving from Leicester City to possible um, a move to Liverpool or Arsenal. What do you guys think about that? They are losing. Yeah, I just checked the Arsenal thing. I know they are losing right now. It's 2-1. I know they are losing. It's halftime right now. I might have to check this game in the second half though second half so let me get through this transfer rumor and you know the transfer show that i'm talking about right now so guys do you think ray and Mares would transfer out of leicester city or should he transfer out of leicester city i think he should have did um i actually think he should have transferred maybe last summer i didn't want to see him transfer okay DFB Pokal draw. Oh, that's a that's a good one to do as well. Let me see something. I'll check that one out. DFB Pokal. The third round. So what is that? The fourth round draw of the DFB Pokal KFC Bowls. Let me know the fourth round. I actually like watching German football. I haven't watched too much this season, but. I do like to watch German football. Um, Mares doesn't play for Southampton, though. Oh, good one, good one, good one. So you're saying, basically, if he was playing for Southampton, he would have moved to Liverpool already. Good one. So, okay, let's, let's, let's say Mares is not going to move to South, um, <laughs> to Liverpool because he's not playing for Southampton. But, Will he move to Arsenal? If Arsenal loses Alexis Sanchez, it looks like it's going to happen unless he puts pen to paper very soon or he decides to play out the rest of the season and actually join Man City for free next season. Who do you think that Riyad Do you think Riyad Mahrez should actually move? You know? He was linked to, I think, a few teams. AS Roma, Inter Milan, you know... Um, he was linked to, uh, as I said, Liverpool, Arsenal, a lot of teams, a lot of teams. He's really good, man. He is really good. I rate Riyad Mahrez in, you know, like if I have to like put together a Premier League team, like my favorite Premier League team, Riyad Mahrez will definitely be in it, guys. This guy is so damn good. 
He's so good. You know what I mean? He would cut back and he would hit with his left. He would hit with his right. You don't even know what he's going to do. So dangerous. Whenever he's playing against City this season, when he's on the ball, I'm like, oh my God. Yo, scary. Very scary, man. Very, very scary player. Highly rated Algerian. I don't know how Algeria didn't make it to the World Cup. Really don't understand it, but um, definitely. Okay. Um, Frost Snipe is up in here. What's up? Thank you very much. He said happy birthday, man. Guys, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, make sure you smash it right now for the birthday. If you haven't checked out the Rich Squad merchandise, go to Spreadshirt. You know, type in Rich Squad. The link is down below in the description. Go check it out, guys. Show your support. You know, show me that you F with the vision. And, you know, I'm starting a movement, man. I'm starting a movement. It's going to start slow. I'm not expecting a lot of people to actually go and buy stuff and support because people don't usually do things like that. You know what I mean? I know that for a fact. You know what I mean? Because the stream has, um, the stream definitely has Super Chat as well. And... People don't support, so I know that. People just want to come for free material. But that's fine, guys. That's fine by me. You know, um, but I'm trying to build a channel. Putting a lot of time, effort into the channel. So definitely trying to build something here. You know, and it's very good to start early. The earlier you start, the better it is. You know, don't wait until you hit... For example, 100,000 subscribers to start merch. Start it while, you know, you're very young in the business. And then as time goes on, you could actually improve on things. So, um, so Riyad Mahrez, will he move from Leicester City to a bigger club? I think, you know, I would like Riyad Mahrez at, at Manchester City for sure. Come over. Come on over. But I don't think that's going to happen. Though. I really don't think it's going to happen. Um... The Terra Ria Guide, thank you very much. Happy birthday. Thank you. Dominic Rich deserve one million. Oh, wow, I would love that. But I think Maris would definitely stay. Because Claude Puel said that he's happy at um, Leicester City. And he's a big player there. So why move from a club where you're the main player, like him, Jamie Vardy, Damari Gray, main players, to a club where you're a backup player. Doesn't make any sense right now. So I think that Riyad Mahrez will stay at Leicester City. So who will take over Stoke now? Mark Hughes is sacked. Maybe. Maybe Paolo Ancelotti. Who knows? I don't think that one's happening. But let's wait and see who will take over Stoke City. Hmm. Maybe, maybe Harry Redner. Maybe they will call out one of those older English managers. I don't know if Harry Redknapp is um retired, but, you know. Oh, Coleman. Who knows? Who knows? But they need a Sam Allardyce type of manager right now, you know. Or what, what you call that guy name again? Uh, Roy Hodgson type of manager to save him. Save them from relegation. Okay. Let's move on to the next transfer rumor. Okay, this one, Arsenal to sign Johnny Evans. Oh, boy. They keep saying Johnny Evans, highly rated, highly rated, highly rated. I haven't seen much of it yet. I haven't seen much of it yet. West Brom is struggling in the Premier League. So how is, you know what I mean? Like, it's either West Brom is bad or Johnny Evans is not, you know, making a difference at all. So him moving to Arsenal as, you know... As someone said earlier, better Arsenal than us. We could dodge that bullet. <laughs> Guys, what happened to John Stones in that match yesterday versus um, Burnley? Though? What happened in that match? Because I was like, oh my God, we are going to lose now. We are going to lose now. I was so fearful of us losing that game. I was like, oh my God. That was such a terrible mistake that John Stones made. And it was like, oh man, God. That looked bad. That looked bad. And Ashley Barnes, he just pounced on that ball. He ran forward and just belted it past Claudio Bravo, who I think could have done a better job. Like, that was such a bad, you know, like, Claudio Bravo, like, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, praise God that 
He wasn't tested as much in the second half or we would have a hell of a game on our hands. It would have probably been a 4-3 match because I don't know what was going on with Claudio Bravo, man. Seriously, that should have never went in. That should have never went in at all. So, um, okay, has the match started back yet? No, it's still halftime. Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest. So, let's move on. Okay, this one I've covered already. Real Sociedad player Inigo Martinez to move to Manchester City. I do like this one. I really do like this one because he would just play as a backup player. And I think he would be okay with it. This would be a, a pay raise for Inigo Marti, Ma, Ma, is it Martinez. Yeah. This would be a pay raise for him. And I think this one could actually go ahead. I see this one go ahead. So... Let me see if Mark Harrop, do you approve the Inigo Martinez move to Manchester City? Do you approve that one? So he's currently 26 years old and he have a release clause of 28 million pounds. So this one is looking like it can definitely happen. They might actually get him for less too. You know, because Pep Guardiola is linked to Spain and all of that. So they might definitely get him for less. Okay. Any more transfer rumors that you guys want to talk about? Let's talk about it now. Stream is definitely winding down. I've covered most of the cut. <clears throat> The confirm signing. I've been talking for an hour and 21 minutes. You guys don't even realize how long I've been talking for an hour and 21 minutes. And it's not easy. And it's not easy keeping your attention for this long at all, man. It's hard. It's hard. People have very, very low attention spans. Short attention spans, I should say. Very, very low. Short, short. But Mega Knight said happy birthday. You know? People definitely have short attention spans, man. Like, I used to make my reaction videos a little longer. Like, I used to make them, like, 5 to 8 minutes to 10 minutes. But nowadays, man, I'm just keeping it very, very short. Two minutes, two and a half minutes the most. That's it. That's it. By the time you blink, the video is over. Because you make a video for 10 minutes, nobody watches it to the end. I've... I made a few of my last videos, and in the end of the video, I shouted out a few people. Who saw, who heard when I shouted out a few people in the last videos? Who heard it? Who heard it? Did anyone even know today was my birthday if I didn't make the stream? That's the thing I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. People not watching the videos to the end. And that's, you know, very, you know, um, what you call it? It's very disappointing, you know, to make the videos and people not watching the videos to the end. Guys, you have to watch the videos to the end, man. There's some gems in the videos, you know. You got to watch it to the end. And I really appreciate it, man. It's for real. It don't make sense. You click the video, you hear what I said, and you're out. Like, come on. A real rich squad loyal would not do that. Will not do that. You watch the video all the way to the end man definitely i shouted a few people out in the videos um strike with sid i even shouted you out in a video i can't remember i think i shout you out in a yeah i think no maybe i deleted that video maybe i did not post that video but i shout you out a couple of times um i do think but uh okay balotelli to borussia dortmund um i that one could happen, but I don't I, I don't see it happening, man. I really don't see it happening. Balotelli should stay at Nice until the end of the season and decide what he's gonna do next. You know, if people come in for him, definitely. But if they don't, you know, he would have to, you know, maybe sign a new contract at Nice or something. John Seri to Barcelona. Well, okay, now that Philip Coutinho have signed to Barcelona. I don't really see Jean-Michel Seri signing to him right now, man. Should Zlatan go to Arsenal? No, I don't think he's going to go to Arsenal. It's not happening. That's not happening. The next place Zlatan is going is either to China or to the USA. 
but definitely not to another Premier League team. Dortmund struggling. They need players like Marco Royce back from injury. Definitely true. Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> Julian Kuz, Johnny Evans, Arsenal. I just spoke about that. Definitely. All right. West Beast, MVP, MVP. Virgil van Dijk is boss. Thank you very much. He did really well in that game. Matic to Manchester City. Nah. I don't want that one. I don't want that one at all. Matic can stay with Mourinho. He's a Mourinho boy, you know. Mourinho signed him a few times. I think Mourinho get, signed him to England. And then he signed him from Chelsea to Manchester United. So he's not going to move. Definitely not moving. Is Kane going to Real Madrid? Okay, guys. When I'm playing FIFA career mode, Kane, Harry Kane usually goes to Manchester United. I could actually see that one happening. And in my current career mode save right now, Harry Kane is going to Real, uh, not Real Madrid, to Manchester United. And Marcus Rashford moves over to Tottenham Hotspur. That one, oh boy, that one could be a big one. So, what if Man United say, okay, we want Harry Kane, but we're going to put Marcus Rashford in the deal because we don't have, we, not that we don't have the money, we don't want to pay the money for him right now, so we're going to include Marcus Rashford in the deal with him. I could definitely see that one happening, and that would actually be a good move for Rashford as well because then he would be the man at Spurs. You know, but would Spurs pay him more than he's earning at Manchester United? I don't know because Spurs don't really play their players that much, you know. Ayad, what's up? What's up? We already spoke about Diego Costa to Atletico Madrid, so you will have to watch this video again when it's posted. Um, definitely. Why Marcus Rashford? I don't know. I'm just talking about something that happened in the game, in the game, in the FIFA game, career mode. Um Hazard to Real Madrid, that one could actually happen. You know, even Hazard for Chelsea, I think he has won two titles already. You know, so I'm not sure. Did he win the Champions League with Chelsea too? I'm not sure about that because I haven't really been, you know, paying attention that long. But he's been, you know, Chelsea's best player for quite a while. And he want to, you know, move up one more notch and that can be... Um, Real Madrid. That will be a big move for him. Definitely. Okay. He has won the League Cup once. He has won English champion the league twice. He has won, you know, he has he was French champions. What? What? He has won quite a few trophies. Europa League. Oh. He used to play for wait. He used to play for Leon. Leon or Lille. Oh, that was when. Oh, now I'm putting one and one together. That was when Lille had that year when they won the league. Oh, even Hazard was in that team. Wow. 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 I'm discovering something. So he moved from Lille to Chelsea in 2012. Whoa. 31 million pounds. So he won the league with Lille and then he moved to Chelsea. And those have been his only two clubs. So Eden Hazard to Real Madrid, that can definitely happen because he has been a loyal Chelsea man for quite a while. So we could actually see him moving up. He has 81 uh, 82 international appearances with 21 international goals. So that's really good, man. Definitely good stuff for Eden Hazard. Guys, let me tell you his stats for Chelsea right now. Um, throughout his Chelsea career, he has played 275 times. 81 goals, 70 assists. Top player. Top player. Similar career stats to Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez's stats are a little bit better. Oh, no, no. Matter of fact, they're very, very similar. Very similar players. So we could actually see Eden Hazard moving on to Real Madrid. He's 27 years old. And I think now is not the time, but in the summer. Maybe they could sign. 
maybe they can sign him now so they can secure his services in the summer. But um, I actually don't want him to move just yet. Chelsea still in the um, Champions League. They can win that. The 16 teams left in the Champions League can still win it. In, you know, it's quite open still, I think. And, um, you know, definitely. So, guys, any more transfer rumors you want to talk about right now? Because the, I guess the game has started back already and I have to go watch that game to see if Arsenal is going to lose. Or maybe not. Maybe I won't even watch that game. I don't even know. But guys, little, cup, little Pump Gaming is up in here. What's up, man? What's up? Today's my birthday, guys. If you haven't said birthday, make sure you say that. Okay, can Argentina choke in the World Cup? Football Pharaoh thinks so. I have to go watch that video of his and see what he's saying about that. But they can definitely choke, man. Anyone can choke and anyone can say whatever they want right now because the things have not happened yet. So we could all say what we want about whatever team and, you know, people would give their opinions on it and stuff like that. But right now, you know, anything can definitely happen. Guys, do you like the Rich Squad shirt, man? Let me know what you think. If you like the Rich Squad shirt, let me know your opinion right now. Don't forget, you can go check it out. Link is in the description box down below, man. Let me know. You have it in all different colors, all different sizes. Support the movement, guys. Support the movement. Support small YouTubers like myself. We are crying out for help. Just joking. But um, Chelsea play a lot of defensive midfielders just because of Conte. Italians need to remake your thoughts. Look at that Italian didn't go to World Cup. You are ve very good point. Very, very, very good point. The way Chelsea are set up is kind of strange. It's very strange how they play. They have three in the back, two fullbacks who run up and down the wings, and they have four in the middle, one above that, like Eden Hazard, and then um, Morata up top. So that's five, that's one goalkeeper, three defenders, that's four, five in the middle, that's nine, one above them, and one, yeah. So that's the way Chelsea set up. Very strange layout of a formation, but um, it's, it's, it's successful, man. They're doing pretty good, but it's very, very defensive. They have Bakayoko and Kante playing as defensive midfielders. And they might throw Pedro Fabregas in the middle as, you know, attacking options. Eden Hazard above them. And then a striker. So, they have it set up to attack and defend on demand, basically. And plus, the, the fullbacks or the wingbacks. Let me call them the wingbacks. Victor Moses and Davide Zappa Costa alternates the, the right wingback. And then Marcos Olanzo. And um, who's the other guy? Damn. Forgetting the other guy who alternate the left wing back positions. Aspilicueta can also play as a wing back also. So, you know, the Chelsea team is set up pretty good, man. It's set up pretty good. And that's why they have been successful, you know, in the past couple of years, winning the EPL title and stuff like that. So, okay. Balotelli to BVB. I actually, oh, that's an old comment. Damn, I'm way behind on this, this chat right now. Do you think some team that's not Man City can make a comeback and win the Premier League? What do you mean? Like in this current season? Donald Trump to PSG. Oh, wow. <laughs> Adnan, what's up, man? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Thank you very much, guys. Right now, I don't think anybody can catch Manchester City. It's not happening. It's not happening. You guys get that out your head. It's not happening. 62 points, 22 matches, not getting caught. Definitely not. 16 games to go. Will Man City get to 100 points? I definitely think they can. Sami Kiani said, what's up? What's up, Sami Kiani, man? Really appreciate you joining the stream. Today's my birthday. And guys, don't forget to go check out the game, man. Check out the gear. Link is in the description box down below. I'm promoting myself. I will be wearing the Rich Quad merchandise in all of my live streams from now on. And almost every single video I make 
from now on definitely this is what i'm gonna do this is how i'm moving forward in the future you know a lot of world cup material coming up guys i'm gonna be making a lot more world cup material the the best videos on my channel world cup videos these videos i'm making about transfers and about the english premier league not doing well at all just to let you know i only do it because i watch football and i love the game you know but the videos don't do well you know and that's that's just it world cup when you're talking about international football talking about world cup those are the videos that sell little do you know i don't know if you realize that like i dropped a video a while back about can germany win the world cup two world cups in a row and that video started out pretty slow it wasn't doing too good at all and then lately that video just picked up it picked up and that has been my most viewed video in the past 28 days like according to watch time like that video really picked up and that video is like one of the highest ranking videos talking about germany at the world cup so you know your boy dominic is doing big things man and i will continue to talk more about you know the world cup and stuff like that and talk try to try to talk a little bit about every single team so the video and the channel can reach all over the world so um um dfb pokal quarterfinal draw i will actually do a video um kfc bulls i'm trying to diversify the channel a little bit talking about more things you know trying different things because a lot of people are doing the english premier league you know a lot of people are doing that and always and when people are doing the same things sometimes you don't get the attention that you deserve you know Sometimes I see, like I post a video and it might not get a lot of views, but then someone else might post the same video talking about the same thing. And I'm like, how they got so much views? And it's not that good, to be honest, you know, comparing to my video. Not that I'm comparing myself to others, but it's, it's just being real, you know? So it's definitely good to venture off and talk about other leagues and other cup competitions going on in other countries. Definitely, I'm getting into the habit of doing that. I just did the, you know, the Arabian Gulf Cup um, or the Gulf Cup for those who don't like the name Arabian Gulf Cup. Um, you know, I just did that. I did the two semifinals and the finals. And, you know, it's, it's it felt pretty good actually watching the games. So now I can actually give my opinion on Saudi Arabia and talking about, not Saudi Arabia, UAE. Oman, Iraq football, Bahrain. I saw those teams play. So I actually could say a little bit about each and every one of them. Um, so the game between Arsenal and Nottingham Forest is still 2-1 right now. 55th minute. Arsenal is struggling. Will they come back? Will they achieve a draw? We just have to wait and see. But guys, um, before I go, I want to ask you guys... um. Hey, okay, let me read this. Here. Hey, Dominic, what do you remember of il September 11 World Trade Attacks? What are you making this day? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't understand. Um, Do you think Marnie will sign for Arsenal? No, I don't think so. I will chat later. Celta Vigo, Real Madrid. Barcelona just won Levante. All right. Thank you very much. So KFC Bowls is out. Thank you very much for joining. Happy birthday, Dominic, from Meath, Ireland. Thank you very much, APH or AF. Thank you. Schalke is third in the Bundesliga. Inter is third in the Serie A. How do you think they'll do in the Champions League next year? Well, I actually, you know... These teams, uh, I don't know. We just have to wait and see, guys. They might not make it to the Champions League. So, oh, memories of that day. I actually was, I was in St. Vincent and the Grenadines when that happened, and it was a terrible day. But I didn't really feel the full effect of that day because I wasn't living in America at that time. So, all right. Thank you very much, MCFC100. Thank you. Um... And remember to mail gifts since it's Dominic birthday. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to send me stuff in the mail. The address is down below. You know, write me, show that you appreciate. Talk to me anyhow you can. Really appreciate it. 
Diego Bravo, how old are you? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So guys, I'm bringing this live stream to an end right now. We have 18 people in here. So say your goodbyes. It's been going on for an hour, 40 minutes. It's way too long. I've, I only plan to do it for one hour. I got some things to do. It's my birthday, so I got to get going. Thanks everyone for joining the stream. Say something nice before I go. And um, all right, Luca said, I always have this question because it's very sad. I was watching cartoons and suddenly I saw airplanes crashing the buildings. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So guys, thanks man. Thank you very much, every single one of you for joining the live stream. Let's all get back to watching our football and you know, Thank you, EFJ, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. MW Trolley, thank you. Thank you, you know, very much. Strike with Sid, thank you. Ooh. Until next time, guys. Peace out and rich squad.